Hi, this is Imanchi and I'm back with my daily dose of crypto and take from Cryptonomics. But before we go any further, please take a moment to subscribe our channel if you haven't and turn on the notification bell for the latest updates. Japan's financial service agency may amend the laws for cryptocurrency margin trading and limit the leverage to only twice the deposit amount. The earlier limit was pledged at 4x leverage. Popular digital asset exchange Huobi has partnered with Farm Properties, a Dubai-based real estate agency. The partnership is aimed at providing secure crypto payments to real estate investors in the UAE. A report published by prominent cryptocurrency exchange BitMEX suggested that the benefits of uh, privacy and scalability of Bitcoin's implementation of Lightning Network are lower than expected. The primary aim of the network was to reduce the transaction time among users while maintaining privacy. Dish Network has filed a patent for blockchain-based anti-piracy management system. The anti-piracy system would enable content producers to track their content using blockchain and see how different distributors are using their content. Lightnet, a stellar-based blockchain firm, could soon raise capital to extend its territory into the Southeast Asian remittance market through fintech. The company will roll out offices in China, Hong Kong and Singapore and also double its staff capacity to 120. A 200-page manual guide named Digital Currency for Cardress entered its second printing in January after experiencing mammoth demand after the first release. Digital Currency of Cardress was initially released in November and consists of 23 articles, which covers the basics of cryptocurrencies and blockchain. China-based blockchain security firm PeckShield put out its 2019 Global Digital Asset AML Research Report, highlighting a bunch of crypto trends throughout the year. The crypto-based capital expenditure from China hit 11.4 billion dollar mark in the 2019. The Association of Cryptocurrency and Startups in Singapore has successfully tested the implementation of the first on-premise blockchain voting. The blockchain-based voting ensures transparency and safeguards the privacy of the voters. Justin San has announced a new set of projects to take on the likes of streaming giants such as Netflix and Twitch. The new project would involve the newly acquired DLive platform and would boost the Tron and BitTorrent network. Thomas Lee, the co-founder of Fundstrat research firm, has come out with another Bitcoin prediction, claiming the Kingcoin would double its value in 2020. Lee's prediction was based on the fact that Bitcoin is set to undergo block reward, halving this year which is considered a highly bullish event. Here are some other but important news from the crypto space. Blockchain tops the list of most in-demand tech skills for 2020. EOS.io 2.0 could transform the future of EOS blockchain. ASIC mining contributes to Bitcoin's robust system. NBA star Spencer Dinbidi tokenizes his $34 million contract. The top 5 crypto gainers of the day are Cloakcoin with 250.48%, Atheon with 240.79%, Add Token with 80.25%, Trap Talk with 71.82%, and Path Hive with 61.16%. The top 5 crypto losers of the day are Bitgilt with minus 60.04%, Fountain with minus 48.87%, Chronocoin with minus 48.14%, Zap with minus 31.16%, and PundiX with minus 
that's all for today please don't forget to like and share our video if you liked our content also give your valuable feedback in the comments below see you tomorrow right here adios